In this video, we're going to examine the question of finding the remainder of 7 to the 143rd power divided by 4. Now, this is related to the previous video of finding the units or ones digit of this number. And the purpose of this video is not so much to answer this specific question as much as using this to prepare us for this next series of videos, which will be on modular arithmetic or mods, but stay tuned for that. So basically, if you, if you can follow this, you're going to be in good shape for the next few videos. So we're going to, again, use our same strategy of finding a pattern. So 7 to the first, and this will be our remainder column. So 7 divided by 4 leaves a remainder of 3. 7 squared is 49. 49 divided by 4 leaves a remainder of 1. Now, pretty soon, we're not going to want to calculate these numbers because they're getting huge. So just like in the previous video where we were trying to find a pattern here, let's not calculate these. Let's work with the remainders. So what do I mean? 7 can be thought of as 4 plus 3. That's where the remainder of 3 came from. So when we square 7, rather than actually get, calculate the 49, we could think of this as 4 plus 3 times another 7. So this 7 will apply to both a 4 and 3. Now this already has a 4, so when you multiply it by 7, that will still be divisible by 4, so we can ignore this part. But we can't ignore this part. So to calculate this one in an easier way, we can just do 3 times 7. In other words, take this remainder, multiply it by 7, rather than multiplying 7 by 7. So 3 times 7 is 21. And 21 divided by 4 leaves a remainder of 1. So now we're going to do the same thing again. Rather than calculate 7 cubed, we're going to take this, multiply it by the next 7, and get 7. 7 divided by 4 leaves a remainder of 3. All right, so let's just, for, for giggles, let's do this one more time. Uh, multiply this by 7, again 21, or divided by 4, remainder of 1. So at this point, you might notice there's a pattern, 3, 1, 3, 1, 3, 1. And we just see, since that's an odd power, we're going to stop on one of these odd ones. And the odd ones are always 3. So the answer to this question is a remainder of 3. Now notice, we're just hunting for patterns. We're not really doing much else. But to justify why this works, we have to go into this. So in the next few videos, we'll get into this a little more formally.